love ways I'd like to get here some more I'll actually make a tutorial series uh, I forgot what this is called for a second <coughs> so in the last episode we went over some of the basics of well most of the stuff up here but I stopped at the database so let's go into the source manager um, this is just where you could import export preview yeah you can kind of just preview stuff and import stuff if you have custom ones here's a script editor you might have to come here often um, there's some things you can do that do make this game look better like um you change it whether to play style screen music or not um, you could um, like have it so the background is transparent I don't know where that would be though. Oh, it'd be right here. At command underscore window dot opacity equals zero. And volume warning, you might want to that down. Now it was transparent and also it looks better. But yeah, you don't really find yourself going there often if you don't want this game to be too complex. Sound test is... Sound test. <laughs> well, that was a mouthy right there. <laughs> yeah, and this is the character generator. I talked about this in the first episode, how you can make your own characters. Yeah, you can just... And it, they do turn out very scary sometimes. Like this guy. Ooh. I wouldn't recommend just hitting random, I'd recommend making it by hand. So I must make our main character um maybe a story about I guess a knight. No, a, a hero? I'm not sure. Um colour. I kind of like that eye colour. Um, hair. <sighs> um, I'm kind of looking more at like the sprites down here. Um, because you're not going to be staring at this, you know, face image as much as the walking sprite um maybe black hair would suit best yeah and um <laughs> he looks like a vampire now he looks weird looks like a vampire um But if I change this guy's eye colour quickly, oof. Um, this guy remind me of a character from a previous game I've made. I'll put face party. Member two. I'm gonna have this guy's layer pie member. Um, uh, two. You yeah, just export them and then you can close it. But um, let's see. Oh god. Oh god. Don't need a horrifying. Don't need a horrifying. Don't look at them. Don't look at them. Okay, um, let's try that again. No. Okay, let's change the rear hair a little bit. Not type 14. Um, yeah, why not? Mm, I know, I just don't like this 
hair, but I don't like the other hair. Yeah, I like I like that hair a bit better. So it's type one. Yeah, I think that looks better. Um, hair color. Yeah, that that also looks better. Um, eye color, maybe dark green. Soul's black. Chestnut. Yeah. The why um. Now I'm going to go to that one. The different ears. The mean elf boy. No, no, no human for this game. I'm angry. Calm. Uh, oh god. Uh. Um. Yeah, I, I reckon just sticking type one for most of these. Um, mouth. Mm -hmm. There's a little kid outside and they're crying. I hope that doesn't pick up a mic. I'm sure have an earpiece in like cry. Um no beard, no kimono mini, that's like cat ears. And no tail, despite how much I would say yes. Because they're still crying. Um, anyway, I'd, I'd just like to stick with the default outfit. Um, yes. Um, oh, okay, side, um, no tattoos, um, you are a pirate, no, 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 I might be good for, like, later in the game, oh, uh, these are glasses, okay, and we're just gonna swap this guy's mane, face, and Himself. Now here's the thing, if you could have a game where you, like, up ahead of you. Sorry, what I'm going to say is, here's what you, what you should do if you don't have a game where you're playing with humans. And I'll go back to, um, let's go back to Peony Dawn. Now, um, if we look at the other cut team, the main character is, well, not a human, but instead an espion from the good game series Pokemon. And, um, so what you have to do for this is, um, print the screen on this and crop it out. And then, like, you know, border off the different, like, tiles. Get your sprites and organise them in the right, right way. I, I did it with these, um, and then you have to make them transparent if you haven't already. Um, it takes it takes a long time to do, but it's quite rewarding in the end, and you actually get some nice um, walk cycles out of it. Like I'll I'll show you guys right now what happened with PMD Travels at Dawn. You see, this, there's a nice little clear walk cycle that, that I pretty much made in the best paint. Yeah, that's what you do if you want custom factors. Well, I'm really yawning today. Um, the, the clock is not on the um, recording section, but it is a bit early, and I'm really tired. Um, the six sword game. Okay, now we've gone over that and gone our main character. Um, let's go make this our main character. So, um. Just click here and go to main, click, main, click. Now what are we going to call this guy? He looks like a Ron to me, but I realise Harry Potter fan golf may just bring me down. The flag for copyright. So um, what can I do with him?
Um, um, I don't know actually. Um, what chain? We'll come chain for now. And this description. Um, that's um, 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 his father was king of the Name shall be um. Ah, I know I went to my favorite name. Okay, I'm gonna quickly pause the recording and look it up. So be back in a second. <laughs> 